Are you planning to retire soon? If yes, then you'll need to devise a proper strategy for making the most out of your retirement years. And let's be clear, planning for retirement requires more than just putting down a small amount every month. There's a lot of steps involved. A big mistake that most people make is that they don't think about paying off the right things before retiring. While most people are aware that it's in their best interest to reduce their debt, they often concentrate their efforts in the incorrect places, such as on their mortgage, which have much lower interest rates, rather than their pricey high interest accounts. So if you don't want to make similar mistakes, here are the four things you must pay off before even considering retirement. Now let's jump right into the video. Number one, school loans. College and university loans are often the ones that take the longest to pay off. Also, if you've taken out loans to send your kids through college, the total amount you owe could rise as you approach retirement age. According to a 2019 study by New York Life, consisting of retiring participants, it took most participants an average of 18 and a half years to pay back their student loans. Statistics from studentaid.gov shows that 2.3% of all borrowers were 62 years or older, and that unlike mortgages, many student loans are not tax deductible. In other words, you'll have less money in retirement because of all those payments. Therefore, everyone needs to figure out a way to pay off their student loans that is similar to the way we pay off our mortgage. This would include regular payments being taken out of your account bringing you closer to your retirement goals and allowing you to tackle the debt more quickly. To help you out, here are strategies to help you pay off your student loans even faster. Number one, try to make extra payments when possible. There is no cost associated with prepaying a student loan or paying more than the required minimum payment, but there is a catch with repayment. The company that collects your student loan bill may add the extra charge to the payment for the next month. Your due date will be moved up, but that won't help you pay off your student loan faster. In Instead, tell your servicer online, over the phone, or in an email to apply overpayments to your current balance and keep the due date for the next month as planned. You can pay more on your student loan at any time during the month, or you can pay it all at once on the due date. You can save a lot of money doing either one. For example, say you own $10,000 and the interest rate is 4.5%. If you are on a 10-year repayment plan, paying an extra $100 per month would get you out of debt more than five years early. Number two, refinance if you have good credit and a steady job. Refinancing your student loan can help you pay them off quickly without having to pay extra money. When you refinance, you get rid of several student loans and replace them with one private loan, ideally with a lower interest rate. To pay off your loans faster, choose a new loan term that is shorter than how long you still have on your current loans. If you choose a shorter term, your monthly payments may go up, but it will help you pay off your debt faster and save you money on interest. Number three, do bi-weekly payments. This easy trick is a way to get yourself to pay more on your debt. Instead of making one full payment every month, make half of your payment every two weeks. You'll end up making an extra payment every year, which will shorten the time it takes to pay off the loan and save you money on interest. Use a calculator to see how much time and money you can save by paying your student loan every two weeks. Number four, paying off capitalized interest. Unless the federal government helps to pay for your loans, interest will build up while you're in school, during your grace period, and during periods of deferment and forbearance. When you start making payments, that interest is added to your balance. This means that your balance grows and you pay interest on a bigger account. To avoid capitalization, you might want to pay the interest each month as it builds up or pay the interest all at once before your grace period or delay ends. That won't speed up the process of paying off the debts right away, but it will mean there is less to pay off. Number five, stick to the standard repayment plan. Federal student loans are set up to be paid back over 10 years by default, unless you choose something different. If you can make big extra payments, the fastest way to pay off federal loans is to stay on the standard repayment plan. Income-based repayment plans for federal loans can extend the time it takes to pay off the loan to 20 or 25 years. You can also combine your student loans, which can make your payments last up to 30 years longer, depending on how much you owe. If you don't really need these extras and can stick to the standard plan, you'll pay off your debts faster. Number two, personal loans and credit cards. 
Most of the time, high interest rates are on personal loans and credit cards. This is especially true for credit cards, which have an average interest rate of 22.4% in the United States right now. Personal expenses like moving costs, wedding costs, medical bills, funeral costs, and other unexpected costs can also end up on a credit card. Even though you should pay off these credit card balances quickly, you shouldn't let them keep you from saving for your retirement. Instead, think about lowering your mortgage payments so you can use the extra money to pay off other loans with high interest. Since mortgages have lower interest rates, you can keep your savings and pay down your debts. From there, start saving money for an emergency fund that has enough money for about three months of pay. So if you have to pay for something out of the blue, you'll be ready. If you decide that paying off your loan early is the best option, here are three key steps you should take. Number one, break down payments. As long as your lender doesn't charge fees for paying off your loan early, you can split your monthly payment into two payments every two weeks. This is the easiest way to pay off your debts more quickly. By splitting your payments up this way, you'll make one more payment each year, which will speed up the time it takes to pay off your debt. By splitting your monthly payments in two parts and paying a little more each month, this method lets you pay less interest overall and pay off the loan faster. Number two, make extra payments when you can. Even if you don't have enough extra money to make higher payments every month, you can still pay more sometimes to get rid of your debt. Think about using the extra money you get from holidays, birthdays, bonuses, and other sources. It can be as simple as not eating out once a month, so you have a little more money in your budget for your loan payment. With this method, all you have to do is make a few small changes to your habits to make room for your budget for extra loan payments. If you want to pay off a loan early, you should always organize your budget and save money where you can. But if money is tight, you don't have to pay off your loan early. As long as you make the minimum payments on your loan every month, you should be fine. But if you can find room in your budget for extra loan payment once in a while, you can pay off your loan faster and pay less interest. Number three, consider adding a secondary stream of income. If you have the time, finding extra income could be a good way to save up money and pay off your loan early. Getting a side hustle doesn't have to mean getting a second job. There are a variety of ways to make a little extra money. You could try babysitting, pet sitting, tutoring, food and grocery delivery, opening an Etsy shop, driving for Uber, and countless other endeavors. Having a side hustle has become increasingly popular, with 40% of millennials reporting that the side hustle makes up at least half of their income. However, a bank rate survey found that 41% of people with a side hustle do so to cover everyday living expenses. Only 17% of people with side hustles put that extra income towards savings, and only 12% use the funds to pay down debts. If you're considering starting a side hustle to pay down your debts, make sure you allocate funds to everyday expenses and saving before worrying about paying off your debt. Number three, car loans. At number three, you should pay off your car loans before you retire. If you don't retire until you've paid off these loans, you could save yourself a lot of money and interest and have more money to live on when you do retire. Here are a few easy tips for paying off a car loan early. Number one, consider refinancing your current car loan. If your car loan has a high interest rate or other monthly fees, you might be able to get better terms on a lower payment by refinancing it. This is especially true if your credit score has gone up since you first got the loan, which is likely if you've been making payments on time and full every month. Keep in mind that your goal is to pay off the loan quickly as you look at refinancing options. Refinancing with a new 72-month loan, which is six years, is a pretty long time. Look for a loan with a shorter term and a lower interest rate. If you refinance for a long-term loan, you might want to pay more each month towards the principal to pay off the loan faster. Number two, make bi-weekly payments. If you change how often you pay from once a month to every two weeks, you'll make one more payment every year. Here's how it works. There are 52 weeks in a year, so not every month has just four weeks. Some are even a bit longer. People who get paid every other week get three checks in April and September because of this. So if you pay 50% of your car note every two weeks, you'll actually be making two extra half payments each year, which adds up to an extra payment each year. Number three, round up your car loan payments. Rounding up your payment to the nearest $50 is another way to get a little more time to pay. If you borrowed $13,000 at 5% interest for 72 months, for example, your monthly payment would be $209. If you make payments on time every month, 
you'll pay $2,074 in interest over the course of the loan. If you round that payment up to $250, you pay off the loan at least 13 months earlier and save at least $395 in interest. Number four, mortgage. If you're like most people, the idea of paying off your mortgage and going into retirement without any debt sounds like a pretty good deal. It's a big deal that you no longer have to pay that much every month. But depending on the financial situation and goals, some homeowners may need to focus on other things while paying down their home loan. Let's look at why you may want to pay off your mortgage before you retire. You're trying to cut down on your basic costs. If your mortgage payment is a big part of your monthly costs, you'll be able to live on a lot less once you no longer have to pay. It. This can help a lot if you don't have a lot of money. You want to pay less in interest. Depending on the size and length of the home loan, the interest can add up to tens of thousands of dollars over time. If you pay off your mortgage early, you can use that money for other things. Even though you might lose the tax deductions for mortgage interest, if you keep your mortgage, more of each monthly payment will go towards the principal, so your deductions will go down anyway. The interest rate on your mortgage is higher than the rate of risk-free returns. When you pay off a loan with interest, it can be like getting a risk-free return equal to the interest rate. Compare your mortgage rate to the after-tax rate of return on a low-risk investment with a similar term, like a high-quality, tax-free municipal bond issued by your home state. If the interest rate on your mortgage is higher than the interest rate on your investment asset, you should pay down your mortgage instead. You put peace of mind first. Paying off a mortgage can give you one less thing to worry about and give you more options when you retire. So, what are your thoughts about these four things that you should pay off before retiring? Share with us in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends so we can keep making videos like this. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to check out the other videos as well. Thanks for watching.